Hey guys, I'm here with Mark from RV Love, and it's time to do an internet upgrade in their new RV. Let's do it. All right, guys, so today we're going to be installing a Pepwave Mobility 42 7 in 1 roof antenna, and that gives us some of the newer technology cell signal stuff and the brand new cutting edge top of the line transit pro modem which is a dual capable uh dual cellular capable modem that has a category seven modem that's really good for t-mobile sorry to geek out a little bit and a category 12 modem that's really good for at&t and verizon uh, the category seven will work with at&t and verizon as well but mark and Julie from RV Love have been spending some time traveling with T-Mobile as their carrier and have been seeing really fast speeds. So we want to get them upgraded to a modem that supports that band 71 and gets them those faster speeds on the T-Mobile network. Yeah, what he said, because we're not super technology, but we loved our pep wave in our country coach because we had that for years. It was amazing. We had the dual SIM and we had a rooftop antenna. So it's been a couple of years since we had that installation. So we're really excited to get the newest, latest and greatest, the better antenna, like you said, for the new bands, for the T-Mobile and better coverage on the AT&T as well. So super excited to do the install. Yeah. So what are bands, all that stuff? We don't have to get crazy into that. We've got plenty of blog articles on that, but bands are a lot like TV channels and you want to pick up as many channels as possible so that you can get the best speeds in the most amount of locations. So your old modem was a, was a dual category six, um, which is a great modem, but it missed out on a lot of stuff that has come out since we put that in. So now we're adding a bunch of bands we'll put below. You're, you're covered. It's like cable TV. We got lots of numbers down there. <laughs> now we've got a lot more coverage, which is great. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the goal is that you don't really have to deal with any of this. You just kind of leave it on and then you can do your Zoom calls and talk to all your fans. Well, that's what we learned about the Pepway before. It's super reliable, super predictable, always, always stable, always on. It's just like home internet. Just love that. Now, while this modem is, it, we're focusing on this as being a dual modem device, meaning you can connect to two cellular providers at once. And if you look at the back, there's a lot of antennas back there. A lot of people ask us if this is a 5G modem, and the answer is no, it's not. And the reason is because if this was 5G, we would need four additional antenna ports back there. But the antenna that we're putting on the roof is a 5G capable antenna. So we are future proofing ourselves for that, for when the prices do come down on the 5G stuff. Nice. All right, so tell me a little bit about what you're thinking for the install here. Well, this rig already has a solar panels on the roof and it has a solar panel junction box. So I would love to be able to use the same roof hole that's in that solar box and try and go down through that. We'll see how that works out. It is kind of close to the other solar and we'll see how it mounts the antenna. We've got to figure out a way to mount the antenna nearby. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, we have a junction box that we picked up at Home Depot. It's just an eight by eight, eight inch by eight inch by four inch uh, waterproof junction box you can pick up at any electrical supply shop. Uh, the goal here is that we're going to install the antenna, this guy, on top of that box and then we either will run out the side of the box into that solar junction box or if we find something that we, you know, we, we saw some some tape on the top yeah, of the box. Yeah, a little sketchy. I was like, we may want to take this box off. We don't know what we're really going to find. So we may just replace that box completely. We'll see when we get up there. Now, if you haven't noticed, I'm giving Mark all of the dirty jobs. <laughs> Okay. All right, so we've found, we did think that junction box might be a problem and it's turning out to be a little bit of one. Yeah, a much bigger problem than we originally thought. We just thought it was a little crack that had been had some tape over it, but when we actually removed it, we could see the actual, when it got cracked, that something happened and those wires were frayed. Actually, it could have been a real fire safety hazard. And so we're removing all of those wires and we're gonna connect, cut them back and make a nice clean connection with new wire junctions. So that's gonna be a lot better, a lot safer.
All right, so we did it, and I don't have any diaper on my black shirt. That <laughs> nice. never, ever happens, so I get to keep this one. That's a really good score. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think that now you have total accessibility, right? So if you wanted to add additional solar panels, um, you know, from the previous owner or the factory, we're not really sure, but we had that nice big two-inch hole in the roof that um, now is basically lined up perfectly with that box. And you can, you're, you know, now if you want to add anything or bring anything down for the roof, you don't have to drill another hole. Yeah, it's nice and simple. No new holes. Looks really clean, really professional. And I'm super happy because we've got all the new technology on here. Total internet connectivity on the roof. Yeah, we're going to upload this video with that new technology. <laughs>